am going to eat donuts tomorrow, though. I have a delivery at 8.30 in the morning of two dozen mini donuts, my favorite donuts ever from New York. And I eat a dozen by myself, but they're literally like this big. They're, they're mini, mini, mini. Which is, the, I think a dozen probably equals like one regular donut. Hi Vogue, it's Kim, and we're going to do my last Met Ball dress fitting, so come in. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I remember specifically the day the theme of the Met was announced, Kanye and I were on a group chat right away and was like, okay, it's Camp, then it's Mr. Mugler. Like, he is like the king of camp, like he invented camp. And so when Kim contacted him, like definitely he understood immediately that she was the next one, the next uh, Venus of beauty. We work with the best couture. It's not even couture, like Mr. Pearl, the best corset maker in the world. I feel like we can go tighter, no? You can? Okay, so Anna, if I don't sit down for dinner, now you know why. I'll be walking around mingling, talking, but I cannot hardly sit, so um, I can only like half sit. Still gonna get on. So this look is called the wet look. Ooh. And it's made out of silicone. So it's like not latex, it's not Ooh. It's silk organza. Do you remember this? I don't know if I showed it to you, Kim. I oh gosh, know. the shirt dress getting out of the water. I wanted to mix California girl style with well, Mugler. Mugler and the ultimate beauty because this is probably really camp. I've never seen a team like this before. This is like, this is like beyond what I ever thought couture was. I was gonna call my cousin. Hi. God. Okay. Let me go into the other room. Oh, it's gorgeous. First of all, it fits like a glove. Your waist is accented beautifully. Turn around. Oh my God. Okay, perfect. The behind right there on the crack is the ruching too. Yeah. I know, right? Oh my God, Gorge, bye. Bye. I used to dream about this night. I used to sit home in bed on my computer looking at all of the pictures of everyone dreaming one day that I could ever attend a Met Ball and never really even believing that that would ever happen. So to be the cover girl going to the Met in Mugler is honestly the biggest dream come true and I'm honestly so like humbled by the idea that this is my life. Whew, what is Kanye wearing? He has no idea. The Met is in two days and he has no idea. But we'll figure it out. He said something so cute the other day. He was like, you know what? I can't, it's like I would go to the Met and I would perform and you know, my first Met year, I was just his plus one, and I wasn't I wasn't really invited yet. And so he he's like, this year I'm just your plus one. You're the cover girl, and I'm your plus one. So I'll just kind of try to fade out in the background and just be your date and let you shine. So I gotta I have to really see what he's wearing. I have no idea. Hi. Hi. We're not there yet, but we're putting wet on before the lashes. Not, we're not done with the hair or anything, but I think you'll love it. This is just a whole different level of a thought process of couture that I never thought was possible. And you know, with Mr. Mugler, he wants to know the exact nails and wants to draw the nails and wants to put the stones of exactly where the nails are going to go. and design the shoes and get the shoes and put stones on the shoes and I just trust them with all my soul and I think that that is really important to have a team of people that 
know exactly what you want. Little tiny hairs sticking out. Thanks. As he hits me in the face. <laughs> we say a little glam prayer, don't we? We did. We, we all held hands. We did a little circle Bob prayer. Yeah. Mario said the prayer, Bob and Bob. they knew I was having a bit of anxiety. So we were on a group chat last night talking about how we're just going to try to be really zen. I don't know why. Like, I think I was like, this is like, probably as nerve wracking as my wedding. Yeah. Like, I don't know why I get so nervous for the Met, maybe even more so. Yes, so I got three facials in about a week and a half. I got a spray tan, I got a Korean spa scrub. I mean, I literally every single day, whatever beauty treatment you can think of, I did it. Since I've been studying, I kind of cut out all types of beauty stuff for myself for a while because I really had to pick and choose and um, I just don't have time for all of it so I really haven't done that. So it, it honestly is so refreshing not to but I guess for a big event like this you do have to put the time in. I won't be able, yeah, wish me luck. I won't be able to pee for about four hours so we're coming up with a plan of what we do in case of an emergency and there's just no other options. I honestly haven't peed this whole time, you guys. So of course I'm gonna have yeah, to pee like, like a million times. You pee times. very often though, so that's gonna be hard. I know, that's like my nervous thing, is like I'll have to pee a million times. I'm just gonna have to like... I'm interested to see how you get in the car, honestly. In that I asked him to get a stool, so I'll have to stand. I'm, I'm riding in a sprinter van on the way there with a, I think a pole, so I can hold on to the pole. Just wish me luck, just wish me luck. Oh my 